Yes, I know. A huge surprise. As you see in the title there, bye bye beer channel. I'm actually going to be moving my beer blogs onto another channel. Some of you are like, why? Because I actually had that video asking you if I should split my channel. Well, it's, it's because beer is such a focused interest and it just just did not mix with everything else. So I'm actually going to be splitting my channel. So those of you that are interested in my beer blogs, please subscribe to my new channel, which is creatively titled Beer Ichi Tuba. Yeah, I know, I, I, I like puns. And I just figure it would be easier to spot, you know, like Yuichi Tuba, Beer Ichi Tuba. I actually wanted to uh, name it I Love Beer with the Islay uh, because you know, Isla is pronounced Isla in Scottish or Gaelic. And uh, I'm actually going to be starting a uh, whiskey review along with the beer reviews as well, too. So that's why I wanted to name it that, but I'll just include it in that. Uh, so anyways, uh, those of you that are interested in beer blogs, please subscribe to Beer Tuba. Seriously, it's not going to be that confusing. Just subscribe to it and the videos will pop up on your subscription page on you and on youtube.com and it'll be just be the same you know so please subscribe to beer Tuba. it'll be great now here is news for those of you that are interested in beer now those of you that are experienced in beer you can spot an intoxicated man and surely in fact as you see on the video uh that and that you're watching you see an intoxicated man i don't have the asian glow i don't think my ears do get red but I am intoxicated uh, to a healthy extent and it's because I just came back from a beer tasting my very first beer tasting and what was the beer uh, we did have a beer of choice where uh, about 20 people came and they brought their beer uh, the theme was IPA and some of you hopheads were like oh, oh, yay! you know it's just a, it's it, it was awesome um, it, it was a great experience. It was just we had 22 IPAs, regular IPAs and double IPAs, uh, mixed up, and all of us wrote down on our notes what we thought, and we gave it a rating of 10 being the best and one being the worst. Afterwards, what they did was they listed off what were the beers, and they gathered up all this information and rated it. And number one was Racer 5 by Bear Republic. I guess because everyone here drank Racer 5, they liked it. Some of the ones that were in the bottom of the list were actually better ones, and I was surprised, like Green Flash IPA. It's like, why? Um, it might have been a bad bottle, but then again, um, like some of you beer reviews reviewers say, that it, there is a certain amount of subjectivity, and it's true. And some people don't like big beers. Like, the best one I thought was Hebrews uh, R.I.P.A. You know, Lenny's Double I.P.A. That one was by far the best out of everything. Um, they had Dogfish Head. They had Samuel Smith. They had uh, Bellhaven, the Scottish, uh, Scottish, <laughs> Scottish brewery. Um, so they had all kinds. It was a really good experience. Now, there was, there's one critique that I will say about this uh, tasting. As much as I really respect and appreciate everyone doing this, um, that a lot of the beers in the first 12 IPAs weren't served at a good temperature. They were all like 60 degrees Fahrenheit, and it should be at least 40 degrees. And so because of that, Dogfish Head's 90 Minute tasted the same as Lagunitas IPA, and it should not. And so, I, I mean generally, you could point out different flavors but th 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 that was the only problem and so it, it could have been better but you know what it was great trying all these beers probably after this event uh, my beer count is way over 800 now um, so yeah it was really awesome now one thing I do want to brag that uh, I did have my homebrew I, I brought Green Flash West Coast IPA and my own personal West Coast IPA and there's one other guy that brought his own homebrew as well, a Belgian IPA. Um, the Green Flesh actually got a low rating, was on the bottom bottom quarter or so. It was pretty bad, which I was surprised. And then my my mine was in, around the middle or so, which was great. I mean, it was a huge compliment. Now, 
after the entire party, uh, we all just brought the bottles outside and we got to see them. And there was a little left of the Green Flash West Coast IPA. I had it afterwards, after my palate was cleansed. It was good. And then also, not only that, I had Midnight Suns Double IPA. It was very smooth, chocolatey. It was good. And so, th this is also one problem that you run into with IPA tastings that I don't think you can get away from, is if you're having 22 IPAs, um, you can't get rid of the hops from your palate, and it's a very difficult tasting to do. Um, as, as, even though we had four or five hours in our timeline of trying different beers, as well as, you know, we rinsed out water and had food. Um, but anyways, it was a great experience. Uh, me, as a hop head, I enjoyed it very much. But um, it could have... There were just a lot of obstacles to deal with naturally. So anyways, just wanted to tell you beer tubers that. Um, so like I said, please subscribe to Beer Tuba, and I'll see you guys in another beer blog. Johnny and come by.